Hello my beautiful Mystic Tribe, welcome back. I hope that you have all had a really good week. Um, this week I am at the Goddess Conference and it's all online this year, which is actually quite lucky for me with the pregnancy because going over to Glastonbury and sitting there for six days, I think it would have been a little bit too intense. So it is all online and I am still around and I am still doing readings, but I got till October to watch everything. So it's absolutely great. So I'm having a wonderful time. I'm really in goddess energy. I'm feeling the power. Uh, we did a beautiful meditation workshop yesterday and little boy was kicking like crazy. I know a couple of you have messaged for a bump update. So bump update. We are here, we are 23 weeks, uh, so we're going to be keeping on, keeping on growing, getting, uh, getting bigger day by day and I'm definitely getting punched and kicked, particularly in my bladder when I'm doing readings and suddenly I have to pause it and go for a wee. Um, but other than that, I, well, I'm doing really good, doing super, super good. So... Uh, I am still around, I am at the Goddess Conference, um, but I have still got access to my emails and I am still checking them and I'm there till Sunday. Um, so yeah, if you need me, just drop me a message. Also, um, if you want to follow my personal Instagram, it's alimarie86, because I know a lot of you are following the work one, um, but with my personal one, I put all about my personal journey, I put what we're doing, what we're doing, me, my guides, baby, dog, partner what we're doing on a kind of like a, a daily basis not a daily basis but whenever we go do things um it's on there so if you want to follow that that's just ali marie 86 it is set as private but send me a request and i will accept it that's my door but my partner's here he's off work this week yeah. sorry uh my partner is off work this week so so he's got the week off work and I have chosen to go to the Goddess Conference. So this is a, a great way to spend your time together. Not, but I am in Goddess Energy, so I'm super happy. Right, on we go. So what we're going to do today is what are the emotions for you? Number one and number two. Now, oh, let's go that way. Upside down pentagram is never a good thing. Deck number one and deck number two. So think about you and your person. And as you're thinking about your person, I want you to feel that heart-centered energy and push it to the deck you are drawn to. Now, I've never used this deck on a public reading. This is the Forest of Enchantment Tarot. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, probably not for beginners because it's a bit complicated on occasions. Um, and the Green Witch Tarot. Now, the reason why I picked those is because uh, I've been out quite... As always, I'm out in nature, but I was uh, out to the trees quite strongly this week and me and dog, Poppy, went on a nice three hour quest and we were under waterfalls and we were at sacred wells and we were at this old druid tomb as well. And all of that is on, like I said, on my personal Instagram if you want to follow it. Okay, right, on with your reading. Number one, number two, what are their emotions? Let's go. Deck number one. Number one. So let's go into all you guys' energy, all your people's energy, and pulling out that strongest uh, linear, well, not even linear, strongest energy between it all. Spirit just said linear. Okay. Now it's really interesting that yesterday, what I'm being really drawn to on my table, I've got all sorts going on up here because of obviously of the conference. Um, well, there was this kind of little, like I said, we did this bit of a workshop yesterday and there is a bit of red thread kind of coming up over here. Now, it's really interesting that the colour is red and that it is thread and even though I've made like a bit of a balls up of it all, um, this always talks about kind of the red thread of destiny and I'm sure it's a Japanese, uh, you know, Japanese thing that they were talking about the red thread of destiny between two people will always guide people back to where they need to be and if two people are meant to be together the red thread pulls them together and spirit are really drawing me to showing you this red thread because first and foremost this is what is coming into your energy for you and your person so that's quite interesting really straight straight away straight off the bat you've got this very powerful energy coming up with you guys think about your person the person's thoughts feelings energy emotions and thought processes and all possibilities, probabilities, chances, chances and changes. I might be wrong on the red thread, it might be Chinese, but I'm sure it's Japanese. Um, someone, will, someone will let me know, I'm sure. Okay, what is your person's emotions for you? What are their emotions for you? First and foremost, kind of coming up is we have this mirror image of you guys. So likely to be a very strong divine connect connection, Natalia's 
Get a hell of breath doing nothing. Uh, likely to be a very strong divine connection between you both. Likely to be twin flames or mirrored souls. Higher vibrational soulmates. What are their emotions for those watching? Spirit also saying really clearly in my energy seeker of the ways. So this is talking about both of you trying to find the pathway that's going to be leading you through this red thread back to each other or to each other. Some of you guys might not have even met this person yet, actually. Spirit saying. It's going to be the person that you're thinking of, but if you're not thinking of a specific person, um, it's because you haven't met them yet. And I'm getting that I just haven't met you yet, so. Okay? So, your person and their emotions towards you, how are they feeling? So, I'm going to read down. We're going to do a downwards read rather than a cross read. So, first thing that's kind of coming up with both of your energies is you've got the Ace of Wands and you've got the Ace of Cups. Okay? Very strong energy over here. And as you can see from this one, we have this mirrored soul, this mirrored energy. So, anything that you are feeling towards your person with regard to your emotions your person is feeling the same. It's really interesting that it's a swan energy. Swans being a very powerful energy also with goddess energy kind of flying around. Sign of Imolk, um, new birth, new life, things coming to life. So if it's been a little bit stagnant and not much has really been happening, that's because uh, things are going to start shifting in your favour. And on the reverse, if you can see over here, this side we have a normal swan. On the other side over here, we have a swan with his crown and his jewellery. And again, you can see that mirrored energy kind of happening. So divine feminine, divine masculine, mixing your energies. Remember, we're never sexually orientated or gender specific. When it comes to tarot, it always works with a masculine and a feminine energy. So definite mirrored energy happening here. Definitely strong emotions. Definitely a new lust for life coming forward with you guys. Passionate energies okay looking at this ace of wands this is this passion coming up so a lot of creativity a lot of room for new birth with you guys a lot of potential so the first two cards coming up are talking about new beginnings starting again or starting a relationship starting on a fresh cusp mirrored energy divine connection strong feelings new lust for life Passionate energy, creativity. And when we talk about creativity and we talk about inspiration, this kind of talks more about where things are going, your manifestations, what you are allowing to align in your purpose. So do be a little bit careful if you're thinking of more negative thoughts. Remember, negative thoughts only take, well, negative and positive thoughts only take 17 seconds to come into fruition. So if you're thinking about negative things and you're spiralling, just try and uh, take your mind out of it. Go do something to distract yourself, like, you know, go for a walk, paint your nails, have a nice bath, whatever, whatever trolls you're being. Um, <laughs> go and have a look at all of that. Do something to just kind of distract yourself and get yourself out of that heavy energy. OK, very strong power energy going on. The other thing kind of coming up over here, the next line as we read down, is we have the Ace of Swords. So it's really interesting that the only card that the card that you are missing is the Ace of Pentacles. OK, so you have three aces, all new beginnings, all brand new cusping of new beginnings, emotional new beginnings, passionate new beginnings, new beginnings based on the mind. OK, so we have lots of new beginnings coming up around you now with the ace of swords and the knight of swords which is what these two are over here. This is talking about stuff that's happened with you guys, perhaps in the past um, not necessarily together, maybe it's your own shit or your person's shit that it's been a bit heavy, a bit hard, the past kept coming back to haunt you. And this is talking about quite an immediate action to cut it off as you guys step into a new beginning together. So your person may be holding back with their emotions, they might be holding back a little bit for fear of being hurt. It doesn't mean they don't have feelings for you, they're very, very strongly here, very strong emotions, very strong new beginnings. Again, new beginnings over here, but they might be holding back on their emotions due to baggage or things that have happened in their past. I hate the word baggage, um, the spirit just said it really clearly. So quite a strong action coming in, lots of movement happening around you, lots of shifting of frequencies and merging of your energies together. There is a love. There is a love. And when there is a love, there is a way. 
So then moving forward over here, we have the Six of Swords and we have the Nine of Pentacles. Both very quite, quite positive cards coming up. Now the Six of Swords would normally in tarot talk about floating away from problems, walking away from things that don't really, well, floating away from things that don't really serve you, leaving the shit in the past and moving yourself forward. But the Nine of Pentacles over here, this is also talking about abundance and you kind of being in a really powerful position. So these two, going back to this stuff over here, speak of stepping away from the past and progressing forward into a future. Now, you're going to be feeling a little bit challenged on occasions with this connection. You're going to be feeling like you're getting a little bit of a headache that is driving you mad. You don't really know where you're standing with it. Um, but you also have this transformation and abundance that is happening within your connection. So with regard to your emotions and your person's feelings for you, sometimes they can drive you a little bit mad. Sometimes you're going to find that they're not really giving you what it is that you want. But then on the flip side of things, you do have these very strong feelings, very strong emotions for each other. And you have that kind of abundance energy coming forward. So their feelings on this over here is sometimes it can get a little bit too intense but they do know that they have these very strong emotions for you and that there is a future if you both allow it to happen okay then we've got the last three coming up quite interesting cards over here page of cups queen of swords the sun okay so when it comes to your person's emotions page of cups talking about offerings coming in of love potential house moves for a couple of you as well things shifting the dynamic changing your person going to be opening up and expressing their emotions for you seeing you in a very strong steady powerful position lots of energy going on around you and with the sun over here talking about happy outcomes and things working out so the more you stand in your power the more you're going to get from your person so try not to be too needy and too clingy and allowing the energy to flow because your person is very attracted to that energy of that independent, sassy, sexy, powerful side of you. Um, they love that, this queen of swords energy, this bitch power. They love that side of you. They're really drawn to it. Um, and sometimes, Spirit is saying without melt the ice cream, sometimes the ice around you has to melt a little bit uh, to allow them into your heart but your person does like a challenge and you do give them that challenge with the sun card over here we have pan and his pipes singing for you how beautiful is that can everyone really can hear the pipes of pan as they sound across the sacred land beautiful if you haven't heard pipes pans i really suggest that you go out into nature and just listen um, you can hear, I've heard them probably three times in my life and you just be sitting there in nature under the trees and you hear this tinkle of my Claire audience, you hear this tinkle of the pan of the pipes. So beautiful, um, very, very beautiful energy coming up over there. Strong God energy coming forward. Um, obviously ancient God, the old gods, okay? So you have this very strong power energy with you guys. You have these happy outcomes. You have this magical connection, this strong bond holding the two of you in place. You have love coming forward and you have you in your power. So overall, where we're standing with this and your person's emotions for you, they see a future with you. They've got this mirrored energy, passionate energy, romantic energy. They're cutting through the crap going through cutting out stuff that's happened in the past, trying to get into a place where they're feeling a bit more confident over the connection to make these moves towards you, missing the pentacles energy, missing the stability that comes with it, but you do have emotions, passion, and cutting out stuff that's happened in the past, getting, stepping away from this kind of mind energy that's really been perhaps affecting them, again, to do with stuff from the past, driving you a little bit mad, a little bit confused about where you stand with them, but very strong power energy coming up over here that they do have these feelings that they want to see where this connection goes and your happy outcomes that they do see that there is the potential for a future with you. Does their heart long for you? Do they really want this emotional bond? And what they're doing really with their emotions at the moment is they are aware of them. They are aware of them. They aren't necessarily hiding from them. They're not pushing them down deep. Those feelings are there. The emotions are there. Um, they are just perhaps holding fire a little bit till they feel a bit more confident and secure. And the reason for that is this kind of past energy lingering up over here. When they're feeling a bit more secure and a bit more confident, that's when that open expression of a... Ooh, there she go. Open expression of emotions is going to come towards you. 
and they'll, they'll talk to you about their feelings. Very magical energy between you guys, very strong connection, very strong spiritual bond holding the two of you in place. As I said, you could be uh, twin flame soulmates, higher vibrational soulmates, you could be mirrored souls, you could be all sorts of, of stuff at this connection, but the essence of it is it's a very high vibrational connection and your person's not going to get that with anyone else. They know that, they know that this connection is one in a life, once in a lifetime. And they know that they have these very strong feelings for you um, and you've got your happy outcomes at the end of it. So really heading towards a very phenomenal and positive future with one another. And that is deck number one. Okay, my beauties. So if you need me, just drop me a message. As I said, I'm at the Goddess Conference all week, but I am still on my email. Um, just might take me a little bit longer to respond to you. And remember, with deck number one as well, we have this red thread kind of coming right back to the start. Um, Red Thread of Destiny, the two of you and your energies are very strongly aligned with each other. And Spirit just showed me a heart and they just, um, you can't see the Red Thread, but they just showed me a heart and they just started wrapping the red ribbon around the heart clairvoyantly. So again, showing that the love is there, the connection is there, it is a divine connection and there is a very strong chance that the two of you are going to push this forward and come into union. How beautiful is that? Step number one. All right, my loves, uh, sending lots of love to you. I'll speak to you soon. Goddess blessings. Okay, guys, step number two. I couldn't press play then. I was trying really hard to press that play button, uh, but I couldn't, I couldn't quite get it with me now. So going into all your energy, all your people's energy, and pulling out the strongest energy between you all with regard to your person's emotions. If you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, I am at the Goddess Conference this week, but it is all online, so I am still around to answer emails, do email questions, and also take video bookings. Think about your person for me, your person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes and let's do all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances and changes. Yeah, I'm not in, um, in Glastonbury in person, they cancelled it in person this year and then next year I am hoping that me and my little boy are going to go together because it is uh, incredible. It's an incredible week of your life. You know, it's not just talks and things like that. You do dance, you do meditation, you do yoga, you do uh, the connection up to God. It's beautiful, beautiful. Glastonbury Goddess Conference. Okay. What is their person's feelings and emotions about those watching? Let's see what spirits say. Let's see what the cards say and let's see what comes up. So, as I said, as always, it works in the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your circumstances. Oh, you know, it's going to come a point when they fall on the floor and I'm not going to be able to pick them up anymore. I'm going to have to keep pausing it. Um, I did a bump update at the start of the reading. If you guys want to go see out how much he is growing, um, there's going to come a point where I'm just like, I can't bend no more. I have to pause it and kick it up with my feet. Do some yoga on it, whack it up. What are their emotions for those watching? So there is a bit of stagnancy around you guys at the moment. Potentially it's come to a little bit of a close. Your person might have stepped away from the connection. I actually feel that we need one more. Um, perhaps they've stepped away from the connection, perhaps it's a little bit on pause and you don't really know what's going on. Definite social media media watching happening between you guys, a little bit of watching, a little bit of stalking, a little bit of what's really happening here. Person wasn't giving you the commitment that you wanted, they took a step back or you guys took a step back. And if you haven't got there yet, just be aware that that is probably going to be happening. They're going to take a bit of a step back. Spirit is saying, oh, you are. Spirit is saying not to worry in that occasion if it happens, okay? If it happens for you guys and they take a step back because it hasn't happened yet, or you take a step back, don't panic. It's just going to be going to sleep for a little while. It's going to go into hibernation. So it's not going to end. It's not going to be like, oh my God, you probably might have a tower, a little tower, maybe a big tower. You might have a tower over the situation as it kind of falls apart around you as you take a step back, or they do but it will come back around again. And I'm just getting that song when it, um, coming around again by, I don't remember who sang that, but it's coming around again. Baby sneezes, something pleases, someone breezes in. It's an old one, I think it was from the 80s. Okay, so 
likely to be stepping away from the situation, although it's come to a little bit of a close at this point in time. But Spirit's saying with this kind of Four of Swords energy, it's asleep, it's not over. And with that, I'm getting Katie, you're getting, you're getting a playlist. With that, I'm getting Katie Perry. Uh, that never, just because it's over, doesn't mean it's really over. That coming into my right ear as well. So it's definitely not over with you guys. Might be a little bit asleep at this moment in time, but nothing has uh, changed emotional wise. Still very strong feelings over here for you. Person is going to be reaching out to you if you're not in contact in the not too distant future. Two cards of movement coming on here. Person hasn't been giving you the commitment that you deserve, that you desire, that you need, that you want, and you were feeling very, very stuck over this. And it's almost as if for some of you guys, the universe kind of took it out of your hands and decided to make a change on the connection for you. Um, like I said, it's not permanent. You have got this movement coming back towards you and again, coming around again, that song stepping into my right ear. So the situation will be coming back round between you guys. Where are they with their feelings? So at the moment, they're taking a little bit of a, a step back on it all. Um, yeah, sorry, I just saw a clairvoyant of another um, temperance card and it had the tour, Glastonbury tour in the background, but this one doesn't, so I was just double checking. So it's a little bit not much happening. Your person's took a step away from the situation. Um, they're trying to keep a little bit balanced on it, the head and the heart. Um, but we have over here this kind of foxglove energy coming up over here. Don't know how much you know about foxgloves, but they are very, very beautiful. They come up around this time of year. Uh, in the last couple of weeks, months, they, they started to arise. You can see them everywhere whenever you go walking. Um, very strong energy coming up from that foxglove. And this connection is probably going to come back anytime soon. Okay, so don't overly stress about it when you're like, oh my God, it's over. Breathe it through. Okay. Ooh, breathe um also with that spirit are giving me uh, lavender by marillion we're going to find our way back to you a penny for your thoughts my dear beautiful beautiful song um if you haven't heard it it might make you a little bit emotional but it's a beautiful beautiful song so your person and their feelings for you at the moment they're just trying to take a little bit of a step back they're like i don't really need to think about this overly but what the uh mind kind of takes a step back from persists what we resist persists so even if your person has took a step back from this and not much is happening their mind is like going crazy and they're like no i'm not going to think about it i don't need to think about it but that's not the case it's there it's in their emotions these feelings are very strongly there and so even if you're not in contact even if it's gone tits up and everything's gone a little bit peaked on you got movement coming back from your person um, and they are still thinking about you okay with regard to their feelings and their emotions we also know that they're watching you on social media and if it's not social media they might be asking your friends or your family how you are what's going on and people keeping it under wraps for you uh communication when it comes through likely to be through internet rather than text message so facebook whatsapp etc etc communication coming forward that way um when the communication is happening kind of immediately anytime now you are going to hear from your person and their feelings for you very very emotional connection with you guys they do love you okay they almost like it's almost as if they've had to have a breather from this to realize what it is that they want and this is where the last three cards come in so you've got your six of cups over here you've got your ace of pentacles and you've got your ten of cups as well so an ending of a cycle beginning of a new one based on love so your heart centered energy bringing the two of you back together person does love you does see a future with you especially with your ace of pentacles over here really interesting in deck number one you had all you had three aces but not one of them was the ace of pentacles you guys do have that ace of pentacles you have a stable new beginning kind of stepping in uh, with the card over here of the Six of Cups, this is talking about memories from the past of you guys. You you guys have been for a lot. You've been for a lot. And it's not something that you guys can easily break away from. You know, you might want to. You might want to think, oh, no, I don't need it. We don't need each other. We're absolutely fine with, without each other. Um, but the love between the two of you is extremely strong. And that's where that ending of cycle and beginning of a new cycle will come in. So with regard to your person's emotions for you and how they're feeling... At the moment, they're just trying to brush it under the carpet and, you know, not dwell on it. But their head is playing tricks on them. Their head is saying, oh, I miss you. I want to speak to you. I want to connect with you. I love you. That's what their head is doing. Got the past memories coming up over here. Um, 
you might find that you guys probably having it as well when you're out and about um you'll go somewhere um and suddenly this memory link will come back to this place and you're like oh i remember this when, when we did this or i remember this moment specifically um that memory link coming into your energies with your person so even if they're trying to step away from it and their head's playing tricks on them memory links coming forward with that connection very strong love very strong bond wanting a future working towards a future just a little bit stagnant at the moment Again, watching social media, likely communication coming through the internet. It's dormant at the moment, it's gone to sleep, it's a little bit in hibernation, needs a little bit of time, but once it's had that time, you've got this movement coming in from your person. Just want to ask about them committing to you. I know we haven't asked about that, but we're looking at the cards and there's cards of non-commitment. So let's just see, is their person going to con commit to those watching? Is their person going to commit? So when they're feeling lonely, when they're feeling uh, that they're really, really missing you, this is when the communication is coming in from you. You've got a joining together of you both. But again, the past has to be left behind a little bit. Um, you've got them protecting their heart, but also offering you a bit more of a stable foundation. So it does look like they will commit. It's just going to take a bit of time. Um, and rebuilding that energy back up you've got a card of manifesting and um, if you need a manifesting plan to get this all into alignment for you give me a shout we can have a look at that got really good success rates so if you need me let me know and we can get one of those going for you all the details are on the website so you can get your commitment from your person it's not going to be overnight it's going to take a little bit of work but they do have these feelings for you they're not going to let you wander far even if they've vanished into the sunset they won't let you go far they'll come back they'll keep coming back and they are still watching you. So it's not a case, even if you're thinking out of sight, out of mind, it really isn't that case. It's out of sight in my mind. <laughs> really strong feelings, strong emotions here. Just trying to avoid it, won't last, definitely won't last. Okay guys, I'm sending tons of love to you all. Uh, have a totally blessed week. I will speak to you all soon. Look after yourselves and lots of love. Ciao.